Welcome to game two of the off night tank companies where I was calling the strategy. In this game, we have the same setup as last time, almost entirely KV-1S's, a KV-2, and one Jackson. The other team has a fairly even split between KV-1S's and Hellcats. We decided to take a very defensive stance again, try and see where they were coming from, and wait in sort of the A3, A4 area, behind cover, see where they were going to come out of, and then move forward and advance as we needed to from there. I'm sorry for the quality of some of the replay, it gets a little jerky when it's recording replays and I don't know exactly why, probably some hardware issues that I'm having, just can't quite keep up, might have been an issue when it was initially recorded. On team speak, people have been saying at this point that they're get, they've been getting lit up, six sense has been going off, no one's quite sure where it's happening from yet. I'm just kind of sitting out here waiting for my binoculars to come up. They do, and I finally spot the Hellcat, probably the main one that was spotting our team on the bridge up in front of us. So we know about half their team, probably a little less than half the team, is spread out in front of us. And then we spot the KV-1S's over on the right side of the map. We decided if we try and go back at this point that we know we're going to have a lot of issues. There's going to be Hellcats poking at us from behind. So we decided to go ahead and try to mop up these Hellcats as quickly as we can and then circle around back to base. So it's ending up taking us longer than we expected. There were additional people supporting the Hellcats that we didn't realize would be over there. We expected the Hellcats to mostly be in their own group away from the KV-1S's. And they have all gotten on cap at the same time. Only 10 seconds left to try and reset at this point. And we just didn't have enough people close enough to cap to try and take care of it. So we ended up losing this game, but Overall, I'm fairly happy with it. The team that we were fighting against, most of them were rated above 50% wins, some as high as 60% win rates. It was a very good, very well-coordinated team, very experienced players, and we are a much more casual clan, so just being able to take out the tanks that we did and have the result that we did in that game I'm very impressed with it, and I thought we did a good job.